off a bridge, and this is normally your friend. Uh, are you going to jump off a bridge? You better stop crying before I give you something to cry about. That was weird. It sounded like you were from Switzerland. Why you sound Irish? I, uh, <laughs> Irish? Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to sound like an older man. No, you sounded like an Irish lad. <laughs> it, was, it was weird for a second. Stop crying before I give you something to cry about. Always work for me, and I'm yeah. going to tell you what also uh, <sighs> worked. Go to your room and wait for oh. your father to get home. Dude, we were talking about this last <laughs> segment, and, and I think you hit you hit on something like so profound here. Yeah, like Johnny was in here yesterday, and Johnny was talking about how you know when we think about eternity, we can look to outer space because you know as far as scientists know, it has no ending, and that's just a beautiful way that God has shown us eternity. But in our lives, eternity looks a lot more like what, Paul? It looks a whole lot more like telling you to go to your room and wait on your dad. Yes. And I said that at the beginning. Sometimes I, I forget what I say. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> I, t- I tell you, my, that's the thing. Um, and I don't think we do that nowadays, but and I know I haven't, or Melissa hadn't done it, but uh, I used to, that was the thing. You had to go to your room and wait for your dad to get off of work. Yeah. And sitting on your bed, you're, like, you're wondering things. I had Paisley. <laughs> Paisley packed her pants full of like blankets and stuff one time. She got it. She got in trouble, and I went in there, and it was evident. Either that, or like she grew a really large tush in a, a period of one day. And I was like, Paisley, it's one of those That's times where you just gotta laugh. Man. Like you just gotta laugh at her. And I she, love it, but at the same time, she's done something wrong, and you're like, Argh! I love it, Dave. <laughs> We're talking more about things your parents said that you said you never would on ninety eight point three, the bridge. Yeah. Um, all right. So oh, that was good. Yeah. That was good with Andy Griffin thing. Say, you. man. <sighs> yep. Say, man. Man. Yeah, we we see that, Melanie. Send a strongly worded letter to Suddenly because it's it's been happening this week for whatever reason, more so than other weeks. Oh no. So they didn't get to hear our, the theme. They didn't get to hear the Andy Griffith stuff. Uh, well, they wouldn't have been able to hear it anyways unless uh, it was up here. Okay, okay. So we played Andy Griffith music and we said like crazy sayings, like "I'll wash your mouth out with soap," but yeah. like the bar of soap, which I never got my mouth washed out with soap. And Corey washed his own mouth out with soap. Well, I only wash my mouth out with hot sauce. With what? With what? Texas beat. Your mom would wash your mouth out with hot sauce? She'd like put a little drop of Texas pee on her tongue and say, don't say that again. Because <laughs> she knows oh. soap is way too nasty. Man. I love it, dude. Texas pee is dead. So do you like Texas pee now? Yeah, I do know. Did you, did you like, I like, like it? I didn't like it then, though. You didn't? Uh-huh. Dude, we used to take, we used to do something like that with my daughter. Do- my daughter sucked her thumb until she was, she's 11 now, yeah. until she was like 10. And, um. We tried to, yeah, we tried everything. She didn't really, she stopped before she was 10. But, yeah. Um, we, just, we tried everything trying to get her to stop, and it just, nothing was ever working. Yeah, just wait till your father gets home. That's actually on the list. <laughs> it's got to be on the list. You'll understand when you are a parent. Um, And there's another one. I hope you have kids just like you. Yeah. I hope you have kids just like you. That's one day, awesome. the Lord's going to give you a child that's going to act just like you, and you're going to understand why I don't have any hair. I wasn't born yesterday. Um, obviously, sir, you were born 30-something years ago. 37 years ago. Right? 37? 36. 36 older, years ago. Yeah. Look, this yeah. this list actually hasn't broken down into... He looks older, but I am older. The logical? <laughs> the illogical. So here's, here's the logical. The logical sayings... It'll be a double negative. Melanie Edgerton says, don't tempt me. It'll be a double negative Christian letter. (laughs) Fix this internet. Ain't nobody got time for this. That's right. Here's the illogical. Don't look at me with those eyes. If you keep making that face, it'll freeze that way. If you want to act like a child, I'll treat you like one. Quiet down. I can't hear myself think. I've said that one. Your face did freeze that way. One day you'll thank me. Yeah, Children are right. to be seen, not heard, mm-hmm. because uh, I said so. That's why. Then we get to the logical. As long as you're under my roof, you live by my rules. Oh, yes. 
Mm. And they were strict rules. Yes. Ask a stupid question, get a stupid, stupid answer. answer. <laughs> I gotta finish that one for you. God gave you a brain. Use it. Yep, said that. Then the sarcastic. I, re- I like I use sarcastic more than any other one. Are your legs broken? <laughs> Hey, Daddy, will Charlie. you give me some water? Pat and Charlie. Melissa's parents always said Pat and Charlie to her. Yeah, My parents Pat never did. That's legs. the name of your legs or your feet. How am I going to get there? Pat and Charlie. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Where'd you, you grew up in Washington? Where'd you mm, grow up? Aiden. In Aiden. Pitt County area. That's crazy. Yeah. And then Cresswell said the same. I wonder where they got that from. Really? It had to be like a show. Are your legs broken? Uh, if all your friends jumped over the bridge, would you? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, Jen's mom let her do whatever. Then go live with Jen's mom. I'll help you pack. <laughs> they said that. Shut the door. You weren't born in a barn. Your room looks like a tornado ran through yes. it. Yes. Yes. Talking currently. to you is like talking to a brick wall. Let's play the quiet game. Someone better be bleeding. If you're crying. Yeah. Someone better be bleeding. Yeah. We got little tattletale kids It's like kids your mom's now. getting up off the couch. She said, somebody better be bleeding if I'm getting up. Yeah. I'm not asking. I'm telling. My mom used to always say, and I'll say this on air next segment. My mom used to, we'd say, Mom, I'm done. And she'd say, now, honey, you might not be as smart as everybody else, but you're not dumb. Ah, I'm finished. So your mom called you? Dumb. Dumb. Yeah. She said, now, honey, you might not be as smart as everybody else, but you're not When I was about to get a spanking from my dad, he had a black belt and a brown belt, and he'd say, which one do you want, Dr. Brown or Dr. Black? (laughs) And I always thought Dr. Black hit harder. You cannot tell me it doesn't. I always hit Dr. My parents Black. had a meat. Um, you know the thing you cut uh, like steaks up on or like meat? a knife? Not a knife. <laughs> on, like the the blo- the butcher block. Yeah. It's got board. the wooden a handle. Cutting a cutting board. Yeah, but it's not like the little plastic cutting boards today. It's a... Yeah, I know. Thick. It's like a... Two by four. Yeah. Anyways, that was my dad's choice. With holes in it? No it holes. In. It had 100% coverage. <laughs> yep. Yep. Dude, so my cousins, their parents used to make them go outside and get a switch. Oh. See, I never understood that. So, so a switch seems like... That's like you taking your poison. Right? Dude, it was bad. Well, but how do you get... How do you get, like... It seems like it wouldn't be as effective. Oh, it was effective. Because I got it one time. One time. I've never, I've never even seen a switch. I, I hadn't either. It's just it's, like a skin. It's a stick. Skin. Yeah, it's a stick that has some flexibility at the end that you oh, whack. And you usually get it right on that. It legs. seems like a belt would be worse. No, I promise not. I'd rather have a belt any day. And what if the stick has some points on it? Yes, sir. Like thorns? Oh. No, just like it's not smooth, man. Who opens this one? You uh, do. No, I do. Yes, you do. Um, you doing a story? Huh? You doing a story? Um, yeah, yeah. I'll do a story. I'll do the positive note story. Five, four, three, two, one. I hope that my mom is listening right now because I'm about to tell her favorite thing to say. My mom used to always say, if we would say, Mom, I'm done, she'd always say, Now, honey, you might not be as smart as everybody else, but you're not dumb. (laughs) We'd always be like, I mean, I'm finished. Uh, So we are talking about things your parents said. that You said, you know what? I am never going to say that, except now you do. Give us a call, 495-0024, and let us know. That saying your parents always said that you now do. Absolutely. Uh, hop up on the live stream too. Your daily show. You're going to see us. Hang out with us. Join the family. We got giveaways all the time. It's fun. We got a new shirt order coming in on Thursday. That'll Looking be forward fun. to that. Yes, sir. 48 new shirts coming in. If you're a top fan, you get one for free, which what? is really cool. Man, this little kid in uh, Tallahassee, Florida, calls the police department. He calls 911 <laughs> because he wanted a friend. He was feeling uh-huh. lonely. Officer um, Joe White is the one who responded to this 911 call. Um, obviously, the parents didn't know, but he arrives on scene and he, he asks uh, the the young boy, and we got a picture up here yeah. on the on the live stream. He asked him to be his friend because he was lonely. 
Um, oh, and then Officer, <laughs> Officer White neighbor. takes time to explain how uh, 911 is supposed to be used for yeah. emergencies, but then he hangs out with the boy, gives him a stuffed animal. The boy makes a new friend, and um, you know, and, it, it, and it's that. awesome. That's so cool. So now, uh, social media users uh, are now sending this little boy because the police department, the Tallahassee Police Department, posted it on their their Facebook page. Yeah. So now a bunch of random people are just sending this little boy um, like cards. Dude, that's so and cool. Stuff. How I, awesome. I love how that police officer handled that situation. We were my parents um, live in winterville and my kids were over there and they all went over there to go swimming one day and they opened the door and the alarm went off and before they could get to the code um the the police ended up coming out to check on everything yeah and so my dad they'd already called my dad they knew everything was good but they had to they finished coming out anyway and so when they pulled up the police officer comes out and he hands all my kids um like a little coloring book and a pen that said winterville police department on it and he talked to him, let him sit in the car. You know, like it just made it a really cool experience for yeah. him. So I love it when our um, our police departments in Pitt County and in uh, Beaufort County and and the uh, different counties throughout our listening area take time, yeah, to love on the community too. Love them guys. They are awesome. We're actually gonna be celebrating them coming up. I believe it's next week again. Woo-hoo. I love when we do that. Yeah, me too. But um, yeah, don't go anywhere. You are listening to the Beyond Limits Morning Show on ninety eight point three, The Bridge. <laughs> Love this song. Hey, what? I do too. I love this song too. Huh? I love this song too. Oh, put a Corey's on there. We can listen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Crank it up. Like Looks like the duck's listening. You can listen on yours. I can hear it. Yeah, he's got it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, uh, Donna, do you go um, do you go through all of your kids' names before you get to the one that you want to talk to? I do. Yeah. Like I if I want to say something to Paisley, I've got to go through Noah Easton first. I'm like Noah Easton, Paisley. Yeah, that happens. Oh, absolutely. It happens all the time. Isabel, Luke, whoever you are, get over here! Yeah, I do that often. Yeah, and and even, like, it's generational. So, like, my grandma used to call me my dad's name. She'd be like, Terry. And I'm like, I'm not Terry, Grandma. <laughs> Jessica Lemon, is your legs and arms yeah. broke? My kids will be sitting at our table, and we don't use. We have a dining room, but we don't usually eat in the dining room. We normally eat in like the. We have another table in the kitchen area, and so we normally eat in there. So it's literally like four steps to the refrigerator. Yeah. And last night we're sitting there, and Isabel goes, "Can I have some more milk?" I'm like, "Yeah." Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> it hadn't moved. Guess where it's at? It's, it's in the fridge right where, where we left at. it. Corey Tripp goes, I feel like I had to preface this by saying my dad was big into sports. And a lot of my lessons in life, he used sports as a teaching tool similar to how Jesus used things the people he taught could relate to. Anyway, my favorite <laughs> thing he used to say was, baseball is such a simple game. You throw the ball, you hit the ball, you catch the ball. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes it rains. Amen? Am I right? That's right. It's <laughs> actually... Yep, and last night it rained. Yeah, last night it rained. For like three minutes, and they canceled every game at Boydley Park. Whatever. Uh, but they yeah. did have to keep the kids at school yesterday. They did have to keep the kids at school yesterday. So if you have a kid that went to a Pitt County school system. Scary tornadic activity. They didn't let them get on the bus. Ironically enough, they let all the parents stay in the checkout line in front of the student school. One of the parents <laughs> one of the parents posted um, at, at Wintergreen. They were like, um, they were like, well, apparently they're keeping the kids inside because of the tornado. However, they sent a picture of all the parents lined up to pick the kids. Apparently, we are... Sacrificial <laughs> because all the parents are just sitting in their cars waiting for the tornado to pass. 
Uh, I guess, you know, whatever. <laughs> that yeah, was funny. That is funny, dude. That's funny. So there were some tornadoes that touched down yesterday yeah, in our one surrounding in, areas. Snow Hill? Yeah, Snow Hill had one, but uh, mm-hmm. a big one out um, uh, west, like around 795. Yeah, that's out near the Wilson area. Yeah. Um, that was a big one, too. That mm-hmm. The picture of that one was, was huge. Tornadoes. It wasn't in Wilson. It was in, um, why is my mind blank right now? But anyway, it was up there. It was up that way. Up, up in my old neck of the woods. I wanted to be a storm chaser for a period of time did in my you? life. Yeah. Not me. I did. Uh, my dad, hey Jessica Lemon, your grandmother used to say that. My dad and my, or my mom, she still says that. I'll still be you over my knee. I don't care how old you are. I'll still be you over my knee. You'll always be my little boy. Whack! Why don't you be weird? Sorry for that. Very loud. weird. Whack. Yeah. But yeah. It would be weird if my mom bit me over a knee. Life's a game. You learn as you go. Sometimes you... Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lead. Sometimes you follow. I right. hadn't heard that song John in years. John Michael Montgomery. Is that who sings that? Yep. No. Like the oh, Joel. Don't cry. Don't cry, Joel. It'll be better. I gotta, I gotta take a side. I would just let it play. That way it's not noticeable. That's a new positive update, isn't it? No, it's not. It was last week. Oh, well, there you go. Huh? I'm trying to think of what's next. Sick people can say goodbye to sleep. Oh, yes, this is cool. To mark National Historic Train Day to restore Southern Railway Bay Window Caboose. Is it that long? Service is more than just a slogan for Hager Station. Yeah. Um. So the cords. The cords in hospital. Hospital cords. You know how when you're laying on a hospital oh, yeah, bed. I saw this, man. All of those cords that are strapped to you. You can say bye to them because they're going away. They're switching over to wireless. Like everybody or just like a select few? Well, now that it's out there, it's going to start making its way into um, the hospitals. Like it's a new thing. Just like monitors used to be a new thing. Now they're everywhere. This is going to be everywhere. So there's not going to be the courts anymore. They're going to be transmitting wirelessly using radar, which is cool. And, and what are they going to be able to monitor through that? Okay, this exciting new radar system can wirelessly monitor monitor the vital signs of patients, eliminating the need to hook them up to any machines. Housed in a device smaller than a cell phone, the technology records the heart, breathing rates, and sensitivity radar waves that are analyzed by sophisticated algorithms embedded in an onboard digital signal processing unit. CPU. Yeah. So they're going to be able to monitor your heart, your blood pressure, your everything wirelessly now. That's really awesome. Through the use of radar. So no more wires, no more. And they'll also be able to tell if you have a tornado coming. The radar will let them know. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You would think it would be like sonar. That's true, Jessica. And I heard this. You're going to miss being a kid one day. Don't be in a rush to grow up. Ironically enough, I wish I was a kid sometimes again. Like, no bills, yeah. no... Yeah. Just in school. You just go to school. The hardest part of your day is taking a test, you know? Mm-hmm. You get home, you get to dig holes, play basketball, whatever. I miss those days. Yeah. And I love this one, too. Money doesn't grow on trees. Or, as she says, is there a money tree in the backyard? If so, I don't know about it. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that one all the time. Money doesn't grow on trees, but technically... Money does grow on trees. Money does grow on trees because... It's made of paper. It's made of paper, and paper is made of... Tree. That's why they call them paper mills. Boom. So, all of you parents out there used to say that. We just tell my kids we can't afford it. Sorry, can't afford it. But say me, 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 me. I don't care. Yeah. So, Isabel... Speaking about things that we can't afford, Isabel's wanted a hoverboard for a long time. Uh, did you get it for her? 
Um, she got money for her birthday, and she decided that she wanted to use that on a hoverboard. Mm-hmm. So my daughter, this past Saturday, we go out and we buy her. A hoverboard. She buys her a hoverboard. And, um, you know, you, you can YouTube hoverboard fails, and you can see all these parents trying to ride the hoverboards of their that their kids have. And it's hilarious. And I'm here to tell you firsthand that hoverboards are not easy to ride. I don't, they're not easy to ride. It's like a Segway. Like, you can ride one, though. Like, I heard that you can ride one. Melissa said that you can ride one, but a hoverboard? she cannot. Yes, I can ride a hoverboard. Because I, I rode the Segway for so long. Yeah. It's all about weight distribution. I don't know why I'm Googling this. Corey Trip. I don't know why you have baffled me this morning with this. What is 150 bucks? Uh, made of. Why am I googling this? So, money's actually made of cotton. No, don't see. Why'd you say it out loud? See, I, I shouldn't have said that out loud. But guess where said... cotton comes from? Plants, which are nothing more than small trees. No, Corey. Why did I even look that up? Why did I look up? Why did I even look that up? No, it's made up of paper. Yes, everybody knows that. Well, especially the quarters. The qu- I know for sure the quarters are made up of paper. <laughs> well, most paper are used for such Amanda items Paramore. as newspapers and books or wood Good pulp morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good <gasps> morning. It is cotton. Twenty-five percent linen and seventy. It's cotton. cotton. Currency paper. Aha. <laughs> My whole life I have thought that dollar bills were made up of paper and it's not. That's weird. So what do they do before the cotton gin? Paper money, though. Paper money. You call it paper money. You don't call it cotton. I'm just telling you. That is so crazy. While, mo- while most paper used for items such as newspapers and books is primar- primarily made up of wood pulp, the currency paper made specifically for the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, BEP, is, is composed of 75% cotton and 25% linen. There's no paper in it. With the security thread and what? water... And watermark built in. I don't, Thank you, Corey. I don't. I don't believe it. I don't this believe just blew it. my mind. I don't believe it. My whole life's a lie. I refuse hey, to how believe old it. Were you when you found that out? Now, today. I was today years old. I was today years old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe. When we go back on the air today? She says Can- Canadian money is made with plastic, like uh, Visa, Mastercard, American Express plastic. My whole life I have thought that... Because you call it paper money. Yeah. Did everybody up here know this but me? I didn't know this. don't lie. I didn't know it. Corey's pretty smart, though. It must be... Melody didn't know. Melody didn't know. That's true. I'm putting that up there because that makes sense, Melody. I never thought of it that way. That's why when it's old, it's super soft. Colored money. I'm about to blow some minds, Corey, on the air, and no, I'm gonna give not. I'm gonna give you I'm Don't gonna give it. you a shout out. Don't do it. Because if it weren't for you, we wouldn't know this. I wouldn't know uh, this. Amanda Paramore works at a bank, and she never knew that. Hey, so Melanie Edgerton works at a bank too. Y'all both work at banks. No. Oh, Amanda Paramore, what bank do you work at? We need to get on with Wells Fargo. Yeah, I agree. Melanie. You've got to talk to some people in Wells Fargo and get us on with Wells Fargo. That'd be awesome. Dag on. I think I have a splinter in between my fingernail. Um, you want so, to do that when the chef's been delivering free soup to a stranger? Yeah, that's what I like to. I really like the five, the note in the five dollars. Yeah, do that one then. What's something okay. funny we can come back with? Are we on after this song? Yeah. Good. He said no. Said no. Jared said, you said no. We're not on after this? Huh, there you go. You work at Crestcom. Hey, we're trying to get on with them too. Yeah, that's right, Brandon. I can finally come in and talk about a game on a Tuesday. I can talk about a Monday game that we didn't lose. <laughs> High five for not losing. 
That's probably not the best song to have there. I'm not raising my kids to get into Harvard. I'm raising I'm raising my children to get into heaven. Ha ha ha. Oh, I love oh that. that's good. Yeah. That's not a good theme song. An old time. That's a good picture. She's changed her profile picture. Who? Jessica Lemon. Hey, um, so yeah, we got two days. Two days and our shirts are gonna be here. Looking forward to that. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Our top fans are getting shirts too. And did you notice Please? that we have switched over and given um Carrie Nicholson uh well a few. And we've got some editors. Yep. Editors. Um, so last night, funny story about this. Last night we're sitting there and because Carrie and hey, Carrie and Liz have a thing worked out where Carrie posts like first part of the day something. Yeah. And then Elizabeth posts something the last half of the day. Yes. Like they've got that worked out. And yes. So last night Liz was, was trying to figure out the verse that we used yesterday and she's gonna put up put like the verse thing. And she See, goes they're gonna be so good at that. She said, Yo she goes, It's ten o'clock and I'm like, it doesn't matter, put it out there. She's like, No, it's so late. She's like, I'll just she goes, I'll get everything ready and I'll do one and I'll have it ready for tomorrow. I'm like, it's ten o'clock, it's fine. She's like, No, I'll just do it for tomorrow, it's too late. I said, okay. And so like five minutes later Carrie put something up and I said, Ha Carrie put something up and she was like, Man, it was a judgment call. <laughs> was it the one about the Teens Lingo? Teens Lingo? Ooh, what was that one? Yeah. Oh, you probably did I? Yeah, I can't. Hey, Brandon Murphy. Nine I nine. ended up um, cutting the grass. Yeah. You did. Yeah, you called me after you cut the grass. I got to cut my grass. I cut the grass. And I got, I mean, I have a self-propelled mower, but it's still a push mower. You know, it's still technically a push mower. And, uh, and I had to cut, I have every, like, third mow. Yes. It's been addressed. Yeah? Yeah. Is that? No. Okay. Um. So every like third mo, so I'm responding with to, yes. yes. I'll send it out today. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. No. Um, I have to cut the ditch in the back. So we have trees, and then behind the trees, there's a ditch that is technically my yard, but it's part of my neighbor's yard. Yeah. Like, I don't ever see it. I don't get any benefit from it. It's an extension of his yard, and yet I have to mow it because it's technically my yard. I mean, I get it. Um, so I, I only do it like every third mow, and I had to do that yesterday. And it took me an extra like it takes an extra thirty or forty-five minutes when I do that. So the Winterville League. So so if we had been playing in the Winterville League, we'd have played last night. Is that what you're telling me, Brandon? There, I responded back to... Um, it was lit. I missed this. <laughs> I just responded back to Melanie. Um, cool. If you li if you listen to music too loud, you'll go deaf. Uh, if you look at the sun, you'll go blind. That actually might have truth to it. Uh, Both it of is these true. Are, oh, there we go. Both of these are true, but parents tend to over-exaggerate. I looked at the sun Eat one time. Huh? Eat your carrots. Eat your carrots. Yeah. Do what? Joel said, eat your carrots. Did you know that eating too many carrots actually is bad for you? Yes. I feel like we talked about this. We did talk about it. It was uh, Friday, yeah. Thursday. You're opening. You going live, buddy? I have one more song. Jared's <laughs> going live by himself. So, the, good morning. Good morning, Jared. Good. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's good practice. Morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 60, currently 68 degrees outside with a high expected today of 85. Guys, when you go on, sound like robots. There's sometimes I look at you and I don't know. That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> like, you sound like Corey does when he's doing the weather. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, all you beautiful people. <laughs> like, stop it! Be a human! <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So, Corey, I mean, Paul. We need a name for our duck. We do need a name for our duck. So let's go to, uh, give us a call at 495-0024. Liz found a robot, a robot um, emoji. emoji. 
so Brandon, the Green will literally played all their games on all fields, and we couldn't play our games. Ducky McDuckerson. That's really long, though. Hey, we need a name for our duck because he's going nowhere anytime soon. So um, give, give this little fella a name. He's earned his right we to be here. Quackers. Uh-huh. It, it, yeah. No, two. Yeah. All right. What if we call him? Uh, I'm done. I'm done, y'all. So it's y'all's turn to, to start naming the duck. Name our duck. Name the duck. I'm going to write it on him. Lame. Exactly. That's a weird name for a duck, Brandon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, y'all are out of control this morning. Man, I'm going to tell you. Hey, are we, are we not on the air, dude? Corey. Corey yeah, Jr. Did. They hey. said name of Corey Jr. Dude. Yeah, I did. But, well, there you go. That's what you get. Good job, dude. Sam said robot duck. MacBook Air 2. <laughs> robot duck. Oh, this is great. Y'all, can I just tell you yeah, that? I guess there's something to go back in there. I don't know another old theme song any better than the Andy Griffith show. Um, yeah, Sanford and Sons would be a good intro. Or Cheers. The Cheers theme song would be really good to go back into. Are we on? Who opens? Joel, man, is. Do you got some sleep last night? I really did. This is like. I'm delirious. This is terrible. You've been terrible. The BL Duck! Are we going on? So earlier when I put my headphones on, we weren't going on, but now I don't put my headphones on. A word you're saying right now. Welcome back to Beyond Limits. <laughs> <laughs> that was great, Paul. <laughs> Joel has been begging us for like nine <laughs> segments now just to go on the air and talk like a duck, I don't, uh, like a robot. And I'm like, I don't, why? And he's like, it'll, it'll sound really good. And I said, okay, whatever, Joel. So there you go. We, uh, we sometimes talk, I don't things. understand, producer Joel. <laughs> it's like just talk like a, just talk like a robot. <laughs> so welcome back to Beyond Limits. <laughs> uh, I think that was actually an awesome job of a robot. Well, thank you, I man. How I, you I, do I practiced this so good. it. Well, welcome back to Beyond Limits, dude. Um, we want to know. We want to know, parents. What mm. are things that you say now to your kids that your parents said to you that you swore you would never ever say to them? Ever. Not in a million years, but now you do. Never, 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 ever. So, uh, you ever been shopping in Target and walked yes. up? Yeah. First of all, anytime you go to Target or Walmart or the grocery store, you always like go in for like two things and you end up with like 73 things and you forget the two things that you actually went in there for. Yeah. Does that happen to anybody else? Well, uh, Ashley Jost went into Target to pick up some bread and jam and decided to pick up a book instead. Okay, rewind. Clearly, this wasn't in North Carolina because you said jam. You mean jelly? Jam. Jam jelly? is North Carolina. Jelly is jelly. like city. Oh, you're sophisticated. Okay, continue. Jam. Jelly. So, jelly has no actual fruit in it, fruit pieces in it. Jam right. has the actual fruit pieces no, no, in it, yeah, which is jelly. more countrified, which is more North Carolina. Jelly. Continue. Jam. Yes. Jam. So Ashley went in to get some bread and jam. It actually doesn't even say that. Um, and, and instead <laughs> bought the book, Girls Stop Apologizing. So she starts reading it when she gets home. She sets it down on the couch. It falls off the couch. She comes back in, and she notices there's a $5 bill laying on the ground. Yes. And she says, what in the world? Where did this $5 bill come from? So she picks up the book, and she starts thumbing through the book. And at the very end of the book, is a note written on a pink sticky note that somebody came at, that somebody had written and left in that book. And the note said to the person who buys this book, I'm having a really tough day. And I thought maybe I could brighten somebody else's day with this little surprise. Go buy yourself a coffee, a donate, a donut, a face mask, or just some other thing to love on yourself. Remember that you are loved. You are amazing. And you are strong. So that was in a book? Uh, somebody just randomly left that in the book with That's a $5 cool. bill. I've How never even awesome thought about doing that, that until right now. Like, even the possibility of doing Let's that. Let's do a Beyond Limits challenge. Let's challenge our our family, Beyond Limits family, to do something today, to do a random act of kindness for somebody today. And then let us know about it. Leave us a note on our page. Send us a direct message. Let us know a random act of kindness you did 
to maybe inspire and lift somebody else up. You are listening to the Beyond Limits Morning Crew. You are. On 98.3, The Bridge. I tell you what, Miss Donna Crabtree, Mr. 4.0, or Mr. Suma, both of them, both of them sound wonderful. Feel Duck. I went and looked at computers yesterday. Did you buy? Did you talk to the homeboy? There was only, uh, maybe, I didn't remember his name, but there was only one Apple rep there, so I'm guessing. Hmm. So, maybe Mr. Suma, I like that. Mr. Yeah. Suma. I like BL Duck. BL Duck? What are you doing? I'm going to write his name on the bottom. So no, we no, 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 it. we're not done yet. Put Andy on the bottom like Toy Story. Okay, Jared clearly doesn't like your... So keep keep naming our duck, and we're gonna go with. Dude, you can't. You, you, you. Okay, we gotta decide duck. if it's a, a boy duck or a girl duck. It is a boy duck, Corey. It's a it gym. is a girl duck. Boy, it's definitely a boy. <laughs> 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 Yeah. You're stupid. I so, love it. It is a boy. It's a boy duck, Corey. It's a boy duck. It's a boy duck. It is a boy named duck. So, yes. Boy names, please. Are y'all laughing at me? No, I'm laughing at you. What do you do, Paul? I did nothing. I just identified. Oh, you did. Oh, I love it. Mr. Suma, the BL Duck. Oh, look, the best of both worlds, Melanie. Yeah, i got to pick that up later. <laughs> I pick them up every time. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I come in here later. I'm Corey gonna, Tripp got what happened. like hanging out all over here. Yeah, it's one of those that you just can't do again. No, you can't, sir. Um, no, you can't. Goose the Duck. That'd be cool. Yeah, duck, from your favorite yeah. documentary. Can you do me a solid? From your favorite you documentary. Top Gun. Can you get oh, we didn't water? even mention. I want to mention that. Um, I'm because we didn't. Um, money is made of cotton. Of trees. Cotton. How many more segments we got? One more. Really? Joel, can you come sit in Corey's seat and pretend to be Corey? I'm gonna walk and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get a water. Hey, hey, will you get me a water too? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Tiny Soldier. Hey, I know it's a lot downstairs, but can you give me another one, too? <laughs> can you come up the stairs with all those? Y'all, we are having so much fun this morning. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with us here on the Beyond Limits Morning Crew. Despite um, our technical difficulties. Despite our technical difficulties and our... Um, there you go. Uh, we've, oh. It's just been a really, really fun morning. We love you all. We love our family here. There you go. Thank you. It wasn't in the fridge. I'm totally, I'd rather have one out in the fridge. Cool. Um, and we appreciate you hanging out with us. We really do. Yeah, we do. Um, share the page, man. We want this to get out to like at least 14 people. So yeah, share the page out. Share uh, it out. It makes us happy. Yeah, Every time we get a page shared, Jared calls me and he's like, hey. Hey, buddy. We got a, we got we a, got page, a page shared. And, but seriously, share the page. Um. Oh, I love you, Mama D. It's her. Have so a good day. She's a, a chef, or she works at a bakery. Who, Mama D? Yes. Mama D, where does Mama D work? Or does she just make awesome cakes She just on makes the side? awesome cakes on the side. Well, there you go. Yes. Don't forget to pray at the end for Lauren Harold yes, saw that red Chandler. Answer. I got, see, I got Jessica's traveling. Yes. Uh, Heather Hobbs yes. got a gallbladder surgery. Um, Lauren Chandler, my friend on Facebook, I shared her story with you guys yesterday. She has yes. a rare cancer and is going through a lot. She's, yep. My wife read that story and filled me in on it. Is she from here? I can't remember. Is she from here? I can't remember. Melanie? You know what we need to do? Uh, Donna wanted us to um, pray a prayer of thankfulness for her friend mm -hmm. who was in a car accident, um, broke their... 
neck cut his liver. He wasn't given a much of a chance to live. Almost died twice through the night. Um, he is not going to be paralyzed though, but he still is in a coma. So it's a prayer and a thankfulness. Okay, she's from Goldsboro, but is that Vida currently? Oh, Lauren Harold Chandler, my friend on Facebook. Uh, did you not get that story yesterday? Yes, I did. Very young, has two kids. Mm -hmm. She needs a miracle right now. God can do that. Dag on it. Yeah, she was admitted. I hate to stories Greenville. like that. Man? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we can make it by there. That'd be, I think that'd be really good if we could make it by there. Yeah. I'd like to make it by we there. We always like to do that when we can. Um, we do. We always like to do that when we can. Um, what's that? I could probably work that in tomorrow. Mr. Suma, you have two votes for Mr. Suma for the duck. I like Mr. Suma. Suma. Suma the duck. Mr. Suma the duck. Do we have a mark? Do we have a um a permanent marker here? Mr. Suma the duck. Not yet. Let's let everybody get their votes in. They've got their votes in. Although we could put this up as a post and vote. You're full of wonderful ideas sometimes. Ideas. Thanks. I do what I can. Yesterday, Paul sent me a, a, um, a story for today, and I said, wow, that's actually really awesome. And he said, I know, I only send awesome things. <laughs> fact. It's not a fact. Sometimes he sends things, and you're just like, what? Your wife voted for Suma. What did you vote for? Not Suma. What did you vote for? I haven't released the vote yet. Oh, okay. So you don't want to participate. You just want to, you just want to chastise those who have. <laughs> post and vote. We're going to Corey after we fi after we finish today's show. We're I like put liberty. A there. I love liberty. Liberty. Liberty the duck. I do like liberty. Yeah. And it is a non-gender specific name. That's right. Liberty. Well, I don't know too many guys named Liberty. You never know. It'd be a, it is gender specific. It's a girl's name. No. Liberty. It's not. If Joel's name was Liberty, he'd be a girl. Liberty. See? See? Look. See what he did? I said Liberty and he went like that. Corey said Cotton Cat. Libby. Now it's definitely a girl. Yep. See? Libby. Yep. Libby. Hey, Libby. Oh. I like Libby. Hi, Libby. And what do y'all got going on today? We Libby are... has been using, um, uh, what's that stuff you, you, um, chapstick. No, the stuff you inject into your lips to make them bigger. Um, no. What, no, what no, is no. the it's stuff? Like all those women. I, I know, I know. Uh, um, what's the stuff? Hey, you what's this? Yeah. What's the stuff you inject into your lips and people that make your lips bigger? Starts uh, with a B? I feel it starts with a B. Uh, Botox. Yes. Haha. <laughs> B. He's got Botox. Botox. Libby has Botox. So you can post. Your dad, said, your, your dad said Botox too. Yeah. My dad uses Botox. <laughs> <laughs> he uses Bosley too. <laughs> my dad? No, my dad doesn't need Bosley. He's got a head full of hair. Oh, man. Does, that turn, that, does that change the color or does that add hair? That adds hair. Read the screen. Oh, they take the hair from the back to you the front. Who me? Who? Well, I hear saying read He's the screen. He's going to need more than me. Because my, my, mine's been like like where it is right now. Hair has been like this what? for years and years. Well, you have nothing to worry about because I've seen Johnny. He's read the screen. Lot. I'm very... Mama D, I don't know what you're talking about. Look at the comments. We, oh, Botox. Okay. So, when you post it, it takes like 13 seconds before we see it. Yes. Jared, I have no idea what your dad looks like. And your dad, I have no idea what he looks like. You weren't here when they were here that day? No. It looks like me without a beard. 
Were you on the thing when my parents came? Should I play a Christmas song? No, yeah, your parents. Yes, yes. What? <laughs> Should you play a Christmas song just to spice it up? Like, what Christmas song would you play? <laughs> your dad? He would kill me. Your dad would be like, hey, why are we playing Bosley Christmas music? Bosley for Mosley. I hear you. When it's like June or July, I'm going to play a song, and then you guys can say it's Christmas in July. Phew. I love Christmas in July. But that would be a fitting end to your day. That would be a fitting end to your day. If you played a Christmas song. Man. Man, a 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 man. Is there anything going on in Greenville or Washington? Greenville. New Bern today. I'm going to. So today I'm going to. Can you find the chicken dance song? That's today. Oh, yeah. That's a ch- I'd find it. I did too until right now. See. I despise that song. Chicken Ant song. Um, <gasps> today oh, is National boy. Chicken Dance Song Day, huh? What do you say? He was using the wrong keyboard, so he's typing over there. Joel's had a Joel's had a very dude. fun morning. Thank God, did not hit the space. Ball. I know, dude. Oh. Well, would it have started playing over oh. there? Yeah, it would have gone to the next Chicken Nats, they would have just started no, listening. It would have switched to Bulletproof. Right in the middle of the song. Switched to what? Bulletproof, right in the middle of the song. Bulletproof. Ah. Bulletproof. 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 Bulletproof.
Probably it's, hates it's, it. It's, yeah. <laughs> Matt the Fourteenth is mad. He's like, so if I was born ten days earlier, I could have been May the Fourth be with you, but no, I have to be the chicken dance. <laughs> Man, that's good. We have been talking about uh, the sayings that you use, that your parents use, that you swore you never would. And we have, our man, our Beyond Limits family here on Facebook is, like, blown up with it. And, um, like, jumping off a bridge. Mm -hmm. If all your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? And then Corey. Corey Tripp. Corey, one of not our, Smith. Tripp. One of, yeah, one of our family it says, <sighs> We got around to saying money doesn't grow on trees. Yes. And then Jared said, well, technically, it does grow on trees. Yes, I Ha, did. ha, ha. Then we laughed in our ignorance because Corey Tripp hops on and says, uh, so dollar bills aren't actually made of paper. They don't have any paper in them. And my whole life became wrecked. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we dollar were today years old when we found that out. I was 36 years old no. when I found out that, pa that paper money you were it's not years made old. up of actual paper. So your what? dollar bills, yeah, is <laughs> 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 your dollar bills are made up of 75% cotton and 25% hey, linen. That's like my t-shirt. 75% <laughs> cotton and 25% linen. Yeah. I, I did not know that until no, today. I, I don't believe it. That is your PSA for today. So if you if you still carry paper money, it's not actually made up of paper. Thank you, Corey Tripp. For that. So if you get cold, you can take a bunch of dollar bills and sew them together and you can make a shirt because you're wearing a cotton shirt. Yeah. Or you could just take a couple of dollar bills what and go buy a shirt. What if it shrinks when you wash it? No, because it's got 25% linen. Uh, if it was 100% cotton, then yes. No, linen shrinks too. What's the difference in cotton and linen? Like, I just use linen for clothes. The word linen no linen is like a very like soft soft what has this conversation become <laughs> i don't i don't know but we've really gone down the rabbit hole have, on this one okay so it is it is tuesday and we hope that you have the absolute best tuesday that anybody has ever had on a tuesday are bulletproof vests made out of cotton absolutely 98.3 <laughs> the bridge <laughs> Melody says, I'm going to start cutting my shirts up and using that to buy stuff. I read that. Melody, I read that when I was reading, and that kind of helped us slide right into that rabbit hole of airtime that we just went through. Yeah. But, you know, that was fun. That was real. It don't Joel, get no I, real. But Joel tied it all together. That was great. I mean, you could have not have said anything better than that. Dollar the duck. Yeah. I like Liberty. So we're, is it between Liberty and Suma? Or comment down below. So they'll be able to Liberty, Suma, or comment another name down below. <laughs> Corey Tripp says, Dollar the Duck, all about them bills. <laughs> Benjamin. Come to think all of about it. them bills? Yes, the bills. <laughs> we could call him Botox. Prayer requests. We fit in a pray up in here. Oh, yeah. Bow your head! <laughs> Donna <laughs> Crabtree says, Summa, 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 summa. Libby! Yep, so me and Melanie Edgerton are like on the same wave, br brain wave length today. Same wavelength. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Brain, why can't it be a brain wavelength? MP the duck. MP. Michael Paul. Oh. She knows my name. Everybody bow your heads. <laughs> That's what Melanie said. That's funny. Um, but seriously, everybody bow your heads. Bow your heads, fool. All right. Uh, Jessica's traveling. Heather Hobbs, gallbladder. We've got this. Um, and if you see me looking, if you're driving down the road, uh, it, it's okay to look. Uh, God will still hear you. Um, Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Cool. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father. Thank you for um, fun. Thank you for letting us have fun today, Lord. It was so, so good to just sit back and, and think about all these things that my parents used to say. And, uh, man, just some really, really great memories and just a great, great time today. Oh, we do have some requests that we want to bring before you this morning. Uh, Jessica is traveling 
God, I pray that you would um, give her protection, give her safety. I pray that everything would go smoothly on her trip. Lord, for Heather Hobbs, who is having uh, some complications from her gallbladder surgery, Lord, I ask that you would uh, bring healing there. I pray that you would um, give them a good plan, give them a good um, path of, uh, of how to take care of it and how to treat it. And Lord, I pray that you would, um, Lord, I thank you that Miss Donna's friend who was involved in the car accident, I thank you, Lord, that they, um, that they were, their life is still intact. Lord, and they have a long road of recovery ahead with the broken neck and the cut liver, Lord, but they are not paralyzed. We give you thanks for that, Lord. We just, um, it could have been so much worse, and we just ask that you would continue to be uh, with this person and with their family as they go through this recovery process. God, there's just a lot of our family going through a lot of things, have friends going through a lot of things. And Lord, I just pray that your protection and that your guidance would be on them. Thank you again for Joel. Thank you for Paul. Thank you for Corey and Johnny. And um, Lord, I just pray that you continue to bless us, bless our family. In your name we pray. Lord, thanks for the day you've given us um, for every for the cool weather, uh, Lord, that we've got today. That so we can appreciate the hot weather and the seasons are perfectly. The way that you have orchestrated this world is just beautiful and precise. And we thank you uh, for that, Lord. For um, Heather um, Hobbs, be with her. For Lauren Chandler, Lord, who has cancer, a rare type of cancer. She's been to doctors all over the place who said that they can't do anything. Um, but we know a God who can. And don't let us ever forget that, Lord. Um, you, you part, you part the, the seas, Lord, so they can walk through on dry land. I mean, and so we, we, we read that. They didn't even walk across on wetland. I mean, when you parted the seas, they walked across on dry land as if the water wasn't ever there. So I just pray, Lord, that you'll be with Lauren, Lord, as she's going through this, Lord, to help her to know that you are in control of everything. Every, you know every hair on our heads. You know every cell that's in our bodies. Lord, and you can change them however you see fit. And I just pray, Lord, that you'll be with her and comfort her and help her during this time and help us never to forget that you are the great physician, Lord, and you can do whatever you want to do, Lord, because you are you are God. And I just pray, Lord, you'll be with us, um, be with the Beyond Limits family, help us have a great uh, Tuesday, Lord, no matter what they're doing, what they're pursuing today. If they're in a hospital, help them to look to you. If they're at work, help them to look to you. If we're on vacation, help them to look to you, Lord, in everything that we're doing. Um, for I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. amen, cool. amen, amen. Um, everybody bow your heads. Now everybody raise your hands. We love you guys. We do. Have a great Tuesday. Have the best Tuesday of any Tuesday you've ever had. Peace, love, and grace. Yeah, and when you see a post, uh, something else, when you see the Beyond Limits post stuff, the Beyond Limits, and when you see Beyond Limits post stuff throughout the day, we're trying to get more stuff out there during during the day, be purposeful in sending stuff out, getting the name out there. So share our posts out. Um, you know, comment on them. That gets the algorithms up. It keeps it at the top of the thing. So when you see Beyond Limits post, you're helping us by commenting on it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, share, comment, like the original post, send some messages. Mama D, I'll tell Jessica you said hi. Joel's, Unless y'all don't get along. In Joel's which case over won't. there shaking his... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I do that sometimes. Um, but yeah, so when you see Beyond Limits post stuff, like it, comment on it, share it, do stuff. Because Carrie and Melissa and Liz are being purposeful on doing that stuff. We love you guys. Yes, we do. Have a great Tuesday. Are you still alive? We're still alive. Oh, we're still alive. Uh, Later! Later!